the 726 QF from Eura, a semi-integrated motorhome with a lovely queen bed at the rear, a spacious bathroom in the middle, and a generous face-to-face -face seating group at the front. My name is Lisa Sprenger from Mimobile, and in this video we will go through all the options and variants of the vehicle together and also present the floor plan in more detail. On the one hand, you can choose whether the vehicle is based on Fiat. Then we have the zero in the floor plan designation at the back, so the 720 QF. If based on Mercedes, then it's called the 726 QF. For Fiat-based vehicles, choose with or without a drop-down bed. Without a fold-down bed, it's Profiler T. With a fold-down bed, it's Profiler RS. The fold-down bed is then flush with the ceiling, you don't lose any headroom and you come down here in front of the seating area. For vehicles based on Mercedes, there is an option to choose between two furniture decors, either Natural Heritage as we see it here, which is darker and two-tone, or Chalet Rustico, which is a light furniture decor. All vehicles based on Fiat always come in Chalet cool. Rustico. Now there are quite a few options that Euradar offers for the floor plan. For the sake of clarity, we have also divided this video into different chapters. The chapter on the overview between Fiat and Mercedes, the differences, comes relatively at the end of the video. Yes, you can watch all these differences in advance in the video and inform yourself beforehand. But you also have to test something like this on site yourself. We have a comprehensive exhibition at Mi Mobile, which signifies a permanent exhibition of all Euromobiles and also of all Carman Mobiles in the panel vans. More info on model on site, models with fold down bed and their equipment can be found on our website for details and specifications. Also linked, see below. Start and seating area up front. At face to face, we always have two opposing longitudinal benches and typically a very nice spacious seating area. Here you can sit alone marvelously with ample space on the bench and we also possess the driver's seats. Nice thing about yours is that we always have a foldable table surface. She is now big, I'll make them small now. Please insert this down here, then we truly have a marvelous passage here. You can effortlessly get into the driver's cab and experience the convenience it offers. Under the two benches of the seating group, there are two hidden seatbelt seats. You can fold them up. We have filmed how exactly the conversion works in a separate video. This is linked below in the description. On the passenger side, underneath the seat, there is also the standard Alder hot water heater. You install the high quality Alder heating system as standard, which works just like the heating at home. We have radiators in the wall that are flowed through with a liquid and indirectly heat the air. So we have a very pleasant radiant heat and no blowing heat. Under the driver's seat, the fresh water tank is hidden, which has a capacity of almost 138 litres for the face-to-face -face layout. The great thing about the face-to-face -face seating groups is that, as I said, you have a lot of space here, but also the whole front of the car is very bright and airy. We have standard frame windows on both sides, namely the left side and the right side. And up here, it continues with windows. We have a large sunroof in the front. There are disparities between Mercedes as we have it here currently. It can be established up there. The window in the Fiat is a bit bigger, but it is permanently installed and has double glazing. And here at the back, the nice large rear window above the table brings in a lot of fresh air once more. Only in vehicles without a fold down bed. An excellent characteristic of yours is the elevated floor. All automobiles possess a lower level. The raised floor has three main advantages. On one hand, storage space, here now very valuable in the entrance area for shoes. Extra storage in rear of vehicle. Second advantage, ground floor location in vehicle. More space in back, on ground floor. We do not have any stairs or tripping hazards as the height differences are compensated for by the raised floor. And third advantage, the main advantage, is winter resistance. We have a double insulation against the ground. The heating pipes run from the Alder heating system. This is like underfloor heating, so you can walk here in stockings in winter. 
In the kitchen, we can see all the color elements now present in the furniture decor. We are here now at Natural Heritage. We once have the light wooden flaps, the slightly darker furniture bodies, a felt-like cladding on the wall and the kitchen surface and drawers are kept in exactly the same look as the grey, just like the table. We have filmed this new furniture decor natural heritage in detail in a separate video. Link below in the description. In the kitchen we simply start from top to bottom. We have a nice big wall cabinet upstairs. Whenever the flap opens, a little light comes on inside the cupboard. It's exactly the same with all the wall cabinets here, again nicely divided into compartments, so you really get something reasonable. At the rear wall, as mentioned, we have the nice felt covering. Ambient lighting always shines beneath it. I'll quickly turn off the skylight in the kitchen, then you can see the ambient lighting at the back under the cabinets. And we have sufficient brightness about the light when we work in the kitchen. Next to it, there is always a shore power socket and a 12 volt socket. In the kitchen, the stove is on the left, we have a two burner stove. The great thing about a two burner stove is that we really have enough space for large pots and pans. And on the right side we have the sink here. The glass cover remains up here and serves as a splash guard into the seating area. The sink is also very nice and deep, so while washing there is a low risk of anything overflowing or spilling over the edges. One of the things that is really nice about yours is that we can turn the faucet outlet upwards, which helps in simply preventing any water from dripping during the journey and leaving unsightly water stains on the glass cover. Under the kitchen we have drawers again. When you take them off, the ambient lighting always shines nicely into the drawers. All drawers always have soft clothes. Down here there is no drawer but a small cabinet. The entire electrical system of the vehicle is neatly arranged in one compartment. Here at the back is still hidden the battery disconnect switch. It's always beautiful at Eura. You can disconnect the auxiliary battery with a switch to prevent discharge when the vehicle is parked for a longer time. Then we have an additional large extension located here at the front. Below this, there is simply a blind flap and the water tank from the seating area protrudes slightly from the bottom. Yes, typical for face-to-face -face floor plans is that we have a lot of space here in the entrance area. On one hand it's practical if one person passes by the other here. Also a classic floor plan for customers with dogs as there is space to lie down. What is also well solved is that in the kitchen our drawer fronts do not go all the way down. Means I can really stand close to the kitchen. It is very pleasant to wash up here, you can stand right in front of it. Otherwise I'd have to stand like this, would wash like this. Not pleasant in the long run. In this vehicle we always have a big tall fridge installed. 1.22L of refrigeration volume and 15L fit in the freezer compartment. It is an absorption refrigerator, i.e. he independently chooses his energy source, can choose between gas, electricity or battery. On the side wall of the fridge we always have room for a nice big 32 inch TV. There's also a saddle socket already prepared on the side here. If you'd like a TV at the back of the bed, it's not a problem. Our workshop will be happy to install it for you. Yes, what is truly nice about the R24 model is that we now have a flap on all models underneath which the instrument panels are completely hidden from view. Once we have the ALDA heating, basically the control panel for the vehicle and also an extra double USB socket. You can easily put charged mobile phones there in the compartment. And we also have a really big compartment here above the refrigerator. It's separated with an intermediate floor so you can really wonderfully store large things like towels or blankets. Yes, a roof fan is always in the Mondial package. He is always in the middle window of the vehicle. Here now, super practical right by the kitchen. You can set it to either draw air from the inside to the outside or from the outside to the inside, ensuring a nice air exchange. Also important for the room climate is the ceiling. At yours, it is always covered with a venue floor, which also ensures a good room climate. When all doors are closed, sitting in one's beautiful seating area with four people, it eventually becomes stuffy from the air. Moisture can diffuse in. When door opens, humidity decreases, moisture diffuses out once again. In addition, the sky here also insulates against sound and heat, 
making it generally cosy in the vehicle. Yes, we've reached the back of the queen's bed. The great thing about the queen's bed is that you can always walk to it from both sides, so everyone can comfortably get in and out of bed. Dimensions of the queen bed, it is 1.47 meters wide and has a length of 1.90 meters. Eura always has an adjustable queen bed. We are currently in the lowest position, which is the most beautiful inside, as we have the most space here. If you want to load large items in the garage later, you can raise the queen bed to about this height and then have maximum storage space in the garage for big things. I can still sleep in this room because we have ample headroom in the area of the cabinets. Yes, above we have hanging cabinets positioned above the head area. Can you fit something nice in again? Also with lighting again. We also have lighting down here with a reading lamp touched to turn it on. Also always has a USB socket attached. And here in the front we have another wall cabinet, identical on both sides. Positioned above is the rod, and underneath you can also obtain something pleasant. Underneath the stairs that lead to the queen bed, there are also storage compartments situated on both the left and right sides. Once you have arrived at this location, and here again below. You can also obtain a great deal in that location once more. We continue to possess a highly pleasant sizable compartment beneath the bed. You can definitely toss dirty laundry in there, for example, as a demonstration of its practicality and convenience. And what we can also immediately demonstrate in the position, at present the bed is pushed up so that we have a better passage here. As a sleeping position, you pull it all down and then have the entire 1.90 meters as a lying surface. Lying surface, the... The bed can be nicely separated by the two sliding doors, and then we have a second door to separate the living area from the bathroom. In front, toilet hits on one side and forward. The 720 or 26 QF features a room bath, indicating the presence of a separate toilet and shower in the accommodation. We have a very nice large wash basin. It is simply placed on top. Even when washing your face, for instance, not a lot goes wrong. As standard, there is always a window above and a mirror that can be pulled out on the side. No need to choose window or mirror anymore. We always have both in the vehicle. Here we have a very nice large storage cabinet once again. In general, there is truly no shortage of cabinets in the bathroom because there is an additional one located down here. And over here on the side we have a tiny flap that is of a miniaturized nature. New in the 2024 model year is that we always have a leaf pattern in the rear of the shower. We now have a black shower body. Behind it is the alder heating or a radiator of the alder heating. Up there is just the ventilation hose. We have a nice big shower head, strong water jet, due to the standard pressure pump installed in the vehicle. In the vehicle there is already a clothes rail, which is super practical for letting wet rain jackets drip off. You can simply remove it upwards for showering purposes. On the passenger side, there is an additional small storage compartment situated down here for extra convenience and easy access. And here above would also be a good place to install a television in the sleeping area, if desired. Even with queen beds, we always have a big garage in the back. The height is not as high as with single beds for now, because the bed is deep. Start now. Just prior, a few words about the flap dimensions. Here the flap is 1.07, 10 cm smaller than with the single bed. The width remains unchanged, measuring 85 cm. The bed can be effortlessly cranked up manually by utilizing a crank handle. This is positioned on the side in this specific location, and then we can already see that something is happening, indicating an ongoing event or situation of significance. The bed is now in the top position, you can then fold up this cover here to make the most of the maximum storage space. There is because if the bed is down, we would have a gap here otherwise. Seldom do we consistently possess a flashlight, two support rails with eyelets on the left and right, and a shore power socket in the garage at Eura. Another quality feature of Eura is that Eura builds full GFK vehicles. GFK stands for Glass Fiber Reinforced Plastic and is the material from which not only the walls, but also the roof and floor are made. The walls are then glued into the aluminum frames, which means we have full surface bonding, surface loads, 
no point loads due to screws. The main advantages of GFK are, on one hand, it is a lightweight material, it is repair friendly material, and it is hail proof. For you, this means that your insurance premiums usually decrease if you have a full GFK vehicle. This leads to the fact that you can give a 10 year leak guarantee on the vehicle. In the face to face floor plan, we always have a service hatch from the outside, where everything related to water is neatly accommodated. On one hand, we can fully drain the fresh water tank at this location. Adjacent to it is our water pump. As mentioned, a pressure pump, not a suction one, creates a strong jet. In front of the pump is the water filter. You can also simply remove and clean it. And here is the blue one for cold water, the red one for hot water pipe, drain valve to make the vehicle winterproof. Left is the drain valve for the wastewater tank. It's controlled electrically from the front of the cab. We are currently in the identical floor plan, however, with a distinct furniture decor, chalet rustico, the light furniture decor with the light flaps and the wood color present throughout the furniture bodies. The car looks different in the other furniture decor. We've also shown the furniture decor in detail in a separate video, linked below in the description. Yes, as you can see, we are now also in a vehicle with a fold-down bed. On the one hand, we don't have a skylight up here and there is a missing cabinet here. At the same time, the storage space here for the wall cabinets also becomes smaller because the scissor arm of the lifting bed reaches behind it. Here, they're not as deep. We filmed a detailed operation and handling of the lifting bed as an example on another vehicle for reference. Eura offers the possibility to order the vehicles as PRS with RS for roof sleeper in the semi-integrated models based on Fiat. We will now show the fold-down bed as an example on the 675 SB. You can always recognize the vehicles from the outside by the fact that they have a small hump on the roof because the fold-down bed here fits flush with the ceiling inside. Vehicles raised by 14 cm with drop-down bed, 3M not 2.86 meter higher, 3M not 2.86 meter. In this vehicle, there is an electric lift bed installed. This is an additional option, usually done manually. To decrease the fold away bed, we need to fold down the cushions that are currently in an upright position. Once at this location and at this location. Furthermore, remove the headrests in order to allow the entire object to be lowered down completely and smoothly. Thanks a lot, maybe a hint. If you order a vehicle with a fold-down bed, you lose storage space due to a gap from the cabinet to the vehicle wall. There's a gap for the mechanism behind it. So the cabinets here are not quite as deep and you not only lose depth, but also a complete cabinet in the kitchen area because the headrests are simply in the way. The pull-out bed up here has dimensions of 1.93 meters in length and 1.40 meters in width, but 1.40 meters in the head area. In the foot area, it consistently tightens slightly, becoming narrower. In the 675 SB floor plan, we have a double sofa, which ensures the door remains completely unobstructed in this area. If we possess vehicles that solely have a solitary seat, the body door is additionally more forward. Thus, the fold-down bed hangs in the door. You always exit, but you must crawl a bit underneath. To the bed up here in itself, we always have a proper mattress inside and above all important, a slatted frame underneath. On both sides, we have a fall protection, which is easily hooked on top. And the great thing about Eura is that we also have reading lamps on the left and right side. For sufficient ventilation, there is a hecky up there, which can be fully set up and adjusted according to your preference. You can access the fold-down bed with the ladder, which is hooked in here. You can also leave them on top, like bedding, if you raise the bed during the day. We have a small amount of space on the roof, and the bedding still fits on it. On this page, a small nightstand is concealed under the hump of the roof. You can put glasses, books, etc. there. The person in the front already has storage space in the driver's cabin for use. Appreciate it.
If the bunk bed is in the upright position, always ensure to secure it again with the strap provided here so that it cannot come down. In the meantime, the Fiat also provides an optional adaptive cruise control system for drivers. The electric handbrake is now additionally obtainable as an option to order with the Fiat package, facilitating easy rotation of the driver's seats for enhanced convenience. Both options, previously only at Mercedes, now also at Fiat. New in model year 2024. Conveniently drive and dispose here in front from driver's cab, enhancing convenience for drivers. We had an electric sewage valve for a period of time. Currently, the controls are located in the driver's cab. Theoretically, you don't even need to get out for that. For emptying, simply here above approximately. Press for five seconds, then the valve opens. Then you can let go again. But it is important that the handbrake is applied and the ignition is turned on. You can either close it manually using the button here, or as soon as you continue driving, you have to release the handbrake and then the valve will close automatically again on its own. We are now in a Fiat driver's cab and one thing that is immediately noticeable is that we have significantly more space here, above all. We are not so deeply cut and beautifully wide in the upper area. What is also noticeable is that the sunroof is nice and big. The window is equipped with double glazing, cannot be installed, and therefore only offers blackout functionality without any provision for protecting against insects. As seats, we always have captain chair seats with double armrests in the Fiat. They are also height adjustable and the backrest can be adjusted in inclination. The Fiat has a CCS low frame chassis, making the double floor 11 cm deep with a depth of 11 cm. The batteries are located under the passenger seat and the wastewater tank hangs under the vehicle, but is standardly insulated and heated so it cannot freeze in winter. The Mercedes cab is a little narrower in the head area as the cheeks of the cab protrude slightly in this region. The sunroof at Mercedes is adjustable and made of plastic. Consequently, it also includes both insect protection and darkening features, providing a versatile and functional experience for the users. In the Mercedes cab, we always have very comfortable Agucci seats and a very high windshield, which means a better field of vision, especially for tall drivers. An important advantage of Mercedes is that we have an Alco chassis at the back. Alco offers three essential advantages. On the one hand, a significantly higher driving comfort because we have torsion bars instead of leaf springs and the whole chassis is lower. So we have a lower center of gravity. The second advantage of the Alco chassis is that we are designed for 4.5 tons from the start. The third advantage is a deeper double floor than the Fiat we currently have the 19.5 cm deep double floor from the Alco chassis on the Mercedes. Another advantage is that we have the capability to additionally fit the battery boxes underneath and the wastewater tank also fits completely into the double floor, specifically in the designated rear storage compartment of the vehicle. Hello Mercedes? Yes, please. The MBook system is simply a very modern multimedia navigation system, which also has a lot of options available. For example, you can connect the system to your mobile phone using the Mercedes ME app, see at any time where my car is currently located, when it was opened, and so on. The great thing about the MBUX system is that we have a large screen, and we can also navigate the vehicle settings through the vehicle settings. So you do not have to do that on the small onboard computer. Here you can set all possible options. The MBUX system is part of the Mondial S package. Also included in the Mondial S package are the front bumpers painted in body color. This is another difference between Fiat and Mercedes. Mercedes does indeed have a black cab, and in the Mondial S package, instead of 16-inch wheels, there are 17-inch wheels, which is also only available from Mercedes. With the Fiat, we always have 16-inch tires, here now with alloy wheels, which are part of the Mondial package. Regarding the weight of the Fiat, vehicles come as standard on the light chassis, which is 3.5 tons, but there is the option to order the maxi chassis, which brings it up to 4.4 tons. Yes, something else about the price difference between Fiat and Mercedes. If you take the same floor plan, there is currently a difference of 7,000 euros in the basic price between Fiat and Mercedes, so quite a lot. Our recommendation is to always put together your configuration exactly as you want it and then compare it. 
We have packages that are pricier at Fiat, some that are pricier at Mercedes. So it depends on your equipment in the end, how it is priced. We'll configure a vehicle with you. For questions, contact us. Contact us. On location or by telephone communication. An important note at this point, we at Memobile still have Profiler T726 QF. As standard cars. The advantage is that they come on one hand. Fast and exciting in terms of price. They aren't coming to Rustico yet, but to the prior at Mobile Decor. Before our actual credits roll, here are a few important notes. We are a German trader and have our videos translated by AI. We ourselves speak the languages German and English and have an employee who also speaks Italian. We have experience in exporting both within and outside the EU. We are located near Stuttgart. A direct S-Bahn train goes from Stuttgart airport to our place. Get off, walk for three minutes and you'll reach our station. Yes, and currently we would be highly pleased if we have managed to generate your interest and you would like to set up a meeting with us. You can find us directly on the B29 between Fellbach and Schorndorf, a 15-minute drive away from the Stuttgart Stadium. You can find all the vehicles not only online, but also all of them in our Completo exhibition on site. And Completo means all furniture, all furniture decors, all upholstery, all floor plans, in short, all yours, all Carmen, and all now new Rhone Kemper. The information about which vehicles are available on site in what equipment and from when, can be found on our Completo website, which is also linked below. And then a very special specialty of Memobile is the sale of the large rental fleet at the end of the season, and also during the season under the brand name Early Bird. The Early Bird catches the worm. Also, you can order a custom-used car from us. He must be able to be delivered in time for the rental season so that he can be delivered at the end of the season. By the way, when it comes to renting, at Mimobile we not only sell the motorhome, but we also offer real service from start to finish. And first of all, let's take a look at Mama in the rental department. We possess more than 50 vehicles for rent, brand new models with a variety of layouts introduced every year. The chances are very good that you can rent your desired vehicle, which you are interested in buying from us first. The vehicles are all workshop. Here in our technology course, I will advise you on the topics of autonomy, lithium, inverters, solar and fuel cells. On the subject of multimedia, SAT, TV, navigation systems and mobile internet. Regarding plumbing, water treatment, pump tech, dry and separating toilets. Moreover, I suggest on chassis tech, load carriers, trailer hitch, ideally on display items in our exhibition. Now we continue to the workshop. Moment, there's one more quick stop. Our workshop is located at our new location in Bräuningsweiler. Build everything you have chosen in Björn's technology course. We'd be glad to assist. We not only do that, but also everything else that comes up around the motorhome will be fixed with us. We offer this service not only for Euro and Karman, but also for all other brands. Yes, that was the presentation in Fast Forward. You can find detailed information about Mi Mobile in our kickoff video 2024. Link below in the description.